Back in the 60s, when I was a young Christian, I longed to be a better witness. And uh, I was so limited. And I met a young Pentecostal who was such a bright testimony and witness. And I went to him and said, hey, what is it with you? Oh, I've been filled with the Spirit. To cut a long story short, I went to his church. They laid hands on me. I got filled with the Holy Spirit. I came home to my home Baptist church, laid hands on a number of my contemporaries. They got filled with the Holy Spirit. We began to uh, move out onto the streets, preaching on Brighton Seafront. I, we came alive. It was very exciting. We also found that we got the gift of tongues. And, and, and sometimes in prayer times we would gather and yes, someone would speak in tongues and someone would interpret. And it was just wonderful. And, and we got used to that gift being part of our prayer times together. And then as time went by, we began to see that there was a phrase that became a common phrase in those days, a message in tongues. And we began to question that because really, it says in 1 Corinthians that he that speaks in tongues speaks mysteries to God. It also says, how will anyone say amen to your thanksgiving if it's not interpreted? So it's a thanksgiving. It's a message. It's given to God. And so we began to review that. And people realized, well, I've got that theme in my heart. I could have expressed it. God would. And we began to experience something fresh, and it was fine. Then after a time, I would say things began to get lost because, well, it's to God, like a prayer. And so you'd be in meetings, and very often there'd be someone who'd speak in tongues, and then there might be a pause, and then someone would pray a prayer. And to be honest, it kind of got like the coinage got debased. It was like, well, why did we bother with the tongue? Because I didn't feel there was anything very inspirational or revelation in what was prayed, but we got used to it. And I think people began to not bother. Now, it does say in the scripture, if there's no interpreter present, don't speak in tongues. And so interpretation is a gift. And, and, and the, it should be, well, if, if there's no interpreter here, I, I'll hold back. That's what the passage is plainly saying. So we need to honor this gift of interpretation. I thank God for people I know with a beautiful gift of interpretation. And that when tongues have come, the interpretation has been wonderful. But I think we've got used to saying, well, it's God word, so you just pray a prayer. And it just got boring and people don't bother anymore. And we've lost this beautiful gift, this sense of God's presence in the prayer time when we gather. I want to encourage us to say, Lord God, please would you restore to us the gift of interpretation? Would you please come upon us? I think like when Mary prayed the Magnificat, we call it Magnificat. She said, my soul magnifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. And then this wonderful utterance goes on to have all kinds of revelatory perspectives. It's God would, but there's revelation in it. I believe that's what tongues and interpretation should be like. Yeah, God would, but hey, there's a supernatural content that we, we learn something in the midst of it. Our hearts were stirred by it. Let's pray for this. Let's ask God to restore this to us. Maybe those of us who know we have that gift could maybe come alongside people or tell people how it works for you, how you hear God in it. We have to learn to listen. We have to learn to wait for God and expect God to bring revelation to us through tongues and interpretation. You might say, well, it doesn't happen in bigger meetings. Well, no, I think we used to at the Stonely Bible Week with thousands present. We sometimes had tongues and interpretation because there were interpreters present. Everybody's edified. Everybody, when, when you feel, well, what was the point? Well, everybody gets slightly embarrassed and, well, we don't want to risk doing that. We may have guests in. But when it's supernatural, hey, let the guests come. Let's all be excited about God came, God spoke, God was amongst us. Let me encourage us. Let's say, Lord Jesus, please restore these beautiful charismatic gifts to us.